Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the classes of inorganic chemistry. Here we are seeing the bio inorganic chemistry. Several videos of bio inorganic chemistry I have made. You can see that videos in the playlist of bio inorganic chemistry. Okay. Now there is the turn of ferritin and transferrin. Two of the very important compounds. First of all understand what is the ferritin. Actually, ferritin is the storehouse of iron. This can be called the storehouse of iron because here the iron is stored. Okay, iron is stored in the form of ferritin. Okay, and this is found in higher animals and human beings. This has the structure that is made up of three parts. First part is the protein coat. Protein coat is the outermost layer. As it is from the name, you can understand there is a coat of protein. And this protein is made up of 24 peptide chains. Each peptide chain has 175 amino acids. These peptide chains are coiled together. Okay. These are coiled in this manner. See, you can see. These are coiled together in the ellipsoid form. It means in this pattern, these are coiled. Okay. And these are making a coat like this. This is called the protein coat. In this coat, there are channels. Okay. These are the channels that are made here. From these channels, the iron can go outside or it can come inside. Okay. From these channels, the iron is going outside or inside. And as many as 4500 iron atoms can be reversibly stored inside this protein coat. This is soluble. Okay. This protein coat is complex, but it is soluble. Now, the second part is called the protein iron interface. It means here, this is the protein iron interface that is present. This is made up of iron and protein. Iron is here present as Fe second O Fe third dimer. This type of dimer is present and this dimer is attached to the protein chains. Okay, this type of dimers now can be attached to protein chain. And these dimers are also attached to each other with the help of oxo or hydroxo bridges. All thing is clear. These dimers are attached to each other by oxo or hydroxo bridges. And these dimers are also attached to the protein chain. Now the third part is the iron coat. Inside this protein iron interface, there is this type of the iron coat. Okay. This is fill up from the iron. Okay. This is the iron coat. Only a small fraction of iron atoms is present as the protein iron interface. And the whole amount of the, the bulk of the iron is present as the iron core. In this iron core, the iron is present in the form of hydrous ferric oxide. And with this, there are various amounts of phosphates also present. Okay. So, the structure of Ferritin is made up of three parts. One is protein coat. The second part is the protein iron interface. And the third part is the iron core. And iron is here in store in the form of hydrous ferric oxide. Now see the second important compound that is transferrin. Transferrin is a transport protein. And it is involved in the transport of iron. Iron will be bind here in the form of Fe plus 3. If you see its molar mass. Its molar mass is 80,000 and it is composed of two units. These two units are similar but not identical. And this can bind only two Fe plus 3 ions. Now if you see the mechanism actually humans and other animals takes the iron in Fe plus 2 form. Okay, Fe is absorbed in the form of Fe second. This is the absorbed Fe. Okay. This is absorbed by the body, human body. And this comes from the food. It is present in the food. This goes to the bloodstream. Okay. Now, in the bloodstream, it is oxidized to Fe plus 3. Here, iron is present in Fe plus 2 form. Now, it will be oxidized to Fe plus 3. Okay. This is done by an enzyme that is called ceruloplasmin. Ceruloplasmin. Okay, this is a copper metalloenzyme. Iron third is then binds to transferrin. Now here, this will bind to transferrin. Now this is transported to bone marrow. Here in bone marrow, this iron is present in the Fe third form. Now it will be converted to Fe second form. Okay, and the transferrin cannot bind to Fe second. Okay, so it is now removed 
from transferrin okay now the transferrin can not bind the fe second it has the tendency only to bind fe plus 3 so it will be removed from the transferrin and now it is stored in the form of ferritin okay so it is stored in the form of ferritin now it can be used to synthesize other iron compounds like hemoglobin myoglobin cytochrome when rbc becomes aged after the average life of 16 weeks this hemoglobin is also decomposed okay then the iron is again recovered and this is again transferred by transferrin and this is again oxidized to fe plus 3 okay this is the whole mechanism it means iron is usually transferred by transferrin in the form of plus 3 then it is stored in ferritin whenever it is needed then it comes from ferritin to transferrin and then it is again used okay so this is whole about the compounds ferritin and transferrin several other videos of bio organic chemistry i have uploaded in my playlist of bio organic chemistry if you want any more topic you can comment me and if you are liking my video lectures then please subscribe the channel please share the videos and i am also taking the live classes at 7:45 pm okay so you can see that classes alternate days thank you very much bye bye